describe your, your emotions and feelings right now? Um, I guess the biggest thing for me right now that I'm feeling, um, you know, I'm not trying to put the blame on anyone for the loss. You know, that's on me. I was the one out there wrestling, but I feel like this whole situation with me and Dennis was handled very, um, I guess, not a, not in the best way. Um, you know, I was lied to a couple times. I was I feel like I was stabbed in the back. I feel like I was loyal to a fault to coaches and athletes and from things that I've seen. And you know, right now the first thing I'm thinking is I need to I need to move on. I need to get out of this program. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, I know. You know, I'm not going to hold anything back. Um, I was told by Tom Brands over two months ago that he would not be in Dan Dennis's corner. That him and Terry would corner me. Um, we had the conversation. Next, thing, right away, I see Tom Brands is going to be in, you know, Dennis's corner from the media, from the Twitter. Um, you know, then they have Ryan Morningstar in my corner. Why go out to eat? And Ryan Morningstar sitting at a dinner table eating dinner with Dan Dennis. You know, it's just things that probably shouldn't be handled like that in that situation. Um, you know, Dennis was on his way out of here, going to Virginia Tech, and Tom bent over backwards to bring him back. You know, why would you do that to your top athlete who's, you know, number one on the ladder right now and put him in that situation. Um, but you know, that's that's life, that's things you deal with. You know, Terry Brands, he's he's a man. You know, the whole time he was by my side, the whole time he agreed with everything and how I felt. Um, at the same time, you know, you want me to elaborate more and just go look at the comments from the HWC members. Go look at the comments from Ryan Morningstar. You know, I don't think there was one person in this program other than Terry Brands that really wanted to see me win that match. I mean, I guess I didn't I don't watch that HWC. Can you maybe elaborate? Yeah, I mean, you know, just go look at the comments from Brett Metcalf saying uh, Dan Dennis is the um, the Donald Trump. You know, at first it was, he was just throwing his hat in the ring, and now he's the number one guy. And this was before months before we had even wrestled or it was going to happen. You know, things like that. But it's whatever. It's obviously a unique situation with, with you guys. Yeah. Looking back, you know, what should the, the coaches have done? How should they have handled the corner? Sure never situation? brought him in. Terry Brands agreed with, me, agreed with me on that, too. You know, he said uh, when we had this conversation, when it was, they never approached me, they never asked me how I was going to feel about it. Two months into it, three months into it, right after the Uregan, they had heard some rumblings that, you know, I wasn't okay with what was going on. Terry came, or Tom came to talk to me. And that's when it was established that, you know, he was not going to coach Dennis. He, he was going to be in my corner. Um, obviously, that didn't happen. You know, he even told my brother that he was going to put his money where his mouth was and his loyalty where his mouth was, and I see where it's at now. Why weren't you okay with him coming back? Um, would you be okay with someone coming back if you were the top guy and you had the top coaches working with you and they're bringing a guy in at your weight class who's going to be who you know you're going to compete with in the finals? Not at all. I don't think anyone would be. Would Brett Metcalf be okay with training next to Frank Molinaro every day? Would Jordan Burroughs be okay with, you know, having Kyle Dake or David Taylor in the room with him every day? What well, What was the difference between that though and, say, McDonough, when you were, you had that situation? McDonough was here. He didn't leave. McDonough wasn't on his way out. Um, they didn't have to go and beg McDonough to come back. What was? And I mean. What was it something that I guess affected you or bothered you in the training situation? Him being there, like, yeah, it did. And there were talks between me and my wife of leaving in the middle of the season. You know, she kind of asked me to stick it out. I stuck it out. I, but uh, you know, now it's time. I need to get out of here. Any? I know it's early. Any idea where you would maybe want to go? I don't know what's next yet. I don't know if I'm going to keep competing. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. If you don't keep competing, what what direction could you potentially? I'm gonna coaching, find a coaching fighting. job, and I'm gonna freaking try and find a way to beat you know whoever I can. <clears throat> I really else? appreciate you being here and, and talking to us. Thanks. Thank you.